What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. Today we are checking out one of the most affordable Xiaomi phones out there. So this right here is called the Xiaomi Redmi Go and you can find this phone for between $60 to $70, so very affordable. But of course, since the phone is so affordable, it has some limitations and this phone is not aimed at power users. So this phone would be great for someone that makes some phone calls, sends some messages, maybe checks their email, but not for gaming and um, any intensive tasks. To keep the phone's price as low as possible, the body is made out of plastic and we don't have a fingerprint scanner. However, we do have a 3.5mm audio jack at the top and the sound quality is decent enough. At the bottom we have a micro USB charging port, but the phone doesn't support fast charging, so charging the phone from 0 to 100 takes about 2.5 hours, but I guess that's good enough considering that we have a 3000mAh battery. On one charge you can usually go for a couple of days and get between 6 to 7 hours of screen time, so definitely not bad for a phone around $60. We even get a 8 megapixel camera on the back and a 5 megapixel camera on the front. And no, the cameras aren't amazing, but they do good enough for the price, I think. I mean, if you take pictures in low light, of course the pictures aren't gonna turn out that great, but if you have plenty of light, I think the pictures are more than enough for the price of the phone. On the front we have a 5 inch screen with a 720p resolution and definitely better than I was expecting. The colors look nice and vibrant, the viewing angles are also good and the, the screen sensitivity is actually better than some other more expensive phones that I've tried in the past. However, if you do take the phone outside in direct sunlight it will be difficult to see. But once again, for the price I don't think we can ask for anything more. The not so great part about this phone is the fact that um, we have the Snapdragon 425 and that's a fairly old CPU and only 1 gig of RAM and having only 1 gig of RAM makes everything very very slow. The phone comes with 8 gigs of internal storage and after the operating system you're left with about 4 gigs of internal storage but at least you can install an SD card and that SD card can be used um, as expandable storage. Not to mention that um, you can also use two SIM cards at the same time with that um, SD card. But yeah, everything that you're gonna do with this phone is extremely slow and if you check the scores on the Antutu benchmark and the Geekbench 4, well, those are the lowest scores that I've seen in two years, I think. So this phone is running Android Go and this is basically a lighter version of Android based on Android 8.1 and this is supposed to make the phone um, feel a bit faster, but yeah, the phone doesn't feel fast for pretty much anything. We also get the Go version of some apps, so like the YouTube Go app, the Maps Go app, and these apps are supposed to work better for a phone that doesn't have the best specs. However, everything that you're gonna do with it feels very, very slow. I mean, you can still use Facebook if you want, you can still play games on it, but um, if you do any heavy tasks, um, you're definitely gonna feel the phone struggling. Moving on to the GPS unit inside it, well, um, that one works better than I was expecting, it only takes a second or two to find your location, once your location is found, it doesn't seem to lose it. For sensors, we don't really have that many sensors, but um, once again, that was to be expected. Connectivity wise we don't get dual band Wi-Fi so you can only connect to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi bands and um, even though the phones are supposed to work on 4G here in Canada I was only able to get the phone working on 3G so I can't exactly change the APN to get 4G for some, um, some reason. As for the speeds over the Wi-Fi network, they are decent enough, but nothing spectacular. So to quickly conclude this video, if you're looking for a super cheap phone for basic tasks like making phone calls and sending a couple of messages, this phone will do great. But if you're looking for a phone to play games and stuff like that, this phone is definitely not for you. I love the fact that the battery life lasts for a while. I mean, you can leave the phone on, on the desk there and it's going to last for 2-3 days on one charge and that's definitely great. But um, if you expect a lot from this phone, well, this phone is definitely not for you. So this phone is intended for very, very light usage. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.